Welcome back to the shop. I think this is part two of our uh, Cub Cadet 102 uh, restoration project. Uh, in the first part, we put a brand new clutch, drive shaft, throw out bearing in and uh, got it all together and uh, she wouldn't move. So in this episode, we uh, tear into the creeper box and uh, see if we can fix it and get it so she'll move. Stay tuned. So as I said in the intro, we're back on part two, I guess, of the 102 restoration, restoration, whatever the hell you want to call it. So the high-low was working perfectly fine, and I decided to change the oil in it, which I know, stupid of me. And uh, now it won't do anything. It, you put it in H or L, and it just grinds, and it's all sorts of pissed off. So um, you could... Pull the motor back out, pull the clutch back out to get the box off there, the whatever the hell you want to call it, creeper box. We're not going to do that. We're going to pull the rear end. It's literally six bolts and a little bit of linkage and a pin, and we'll just walk the rear end out the back. So um, 9 16 bolt, there's one there on the other side, and same on the other side, and then there's two back here. Um, I'm going to leave the tires right on it, but it's... There's two, bolt there, bolt there, and then one up there. Um, I have to uh, take my part off my sleeve hitch there, and um, then basically do that, and then you just pick it, pick the frame and everything up, and just kind of walk it right off. But you gotta take the pin, probably have to unscrew the knob off the creeper, and then there's a, the pin for, that goes into the drive coupler off the drive shaft, and should be able to just pop that. Oh, and then you also have the, the linkage for your brakes so pop all that and i should be able to just pick it up walk it forward set it down and then we'll pull the creeper box off and we'll see what kind of carnage we have in that well in there after some cajoling a lot of swearing and i apologize if we're getting wind noise because i'm, I'm done with the weather around here but anyways i ended up taking the whole seat thing off there's oh there's six bolts there in the bottom and then there's two in each footboard here 9 16 headed bolts there one two three four five the other one you can't see a shop dog and then there's uh half inch headed ones there and uh this rod here i think we up i think we upset him a little bit coming out of there but you know if he just would have worked with me we wouldn't have had that problem but so now we got to pull those four bolts on the creeper and pull it off of there and I think I have an idea what is wrong with it, but I'm sure when I get it off of there, that won't be what's wrong with it. It'll be something really serious. But anyways, without further ado, let me get some tools and get the creeper off and we'll uh, reconvene here in a second. Well, for once in my life, with these stupid Cub Cadets, something actually went, I don't know if I want to say to plan, but it was, uh, my speculations were correct. There's a roll pin in there and the lighting is terrible and whatever but you can see that roll pin in there it's supposed to drive this shift fork right here and roll pins broke and it's all bound up so i'm gonna have to try and cajole it enough to get this guy out of there so i can get the roll pin out see what i need hopefully i have what i need if not we're gonna have to get extra creative but uh yeah that's actually not near as bad as i thought i mean it makes sense because it worked worked when i bought the tractor and then, of course, it would break as soon as I, you know, put the new clutch in. So let me uh, put the camera down and see if we can uh, see if we can beat this out of there. Well, there, and you can see I had to put a new pin in there. But you can see how it works. Works just like that. The other pin didn't really break or anything. It just fell out. So um, this pin is a little bit long, but it's not really hurting anything. And if it was to fall down that's going to hit the bottom of the case right there so it can't really fall out so i mean it might end up being hard shifting or something at some point but other than that it can't really fall out of there which that's i just happened to think of that that's by pure accident but you pound the tap the pin in through the hole right right there which is your drain hole in the bottom of the unit itself um basically i just put it on a pick stuck it in there 
grabbed it with a pair of needle nose pliers and luckily it I could get it started in this shift fork which I guess these shift forks wear too um, and you can see there they are heat treated on the ends where you know this thing runs on them so um, if you know a guy was so inclined you could weld that up and and uh, you know just kind of grind it back down they're not available from Cub Cadet anymore because I was going to order it because I figured that was what my problem was but I, I got lucky for once so it works moves hard but it works and uh, they say to use like a light oil in them or something but I put 90 weight in this one and of course didn't have any problems with it until I put 90 weight in it but it seems to be in good shape the splines here look good I looked at the the piece on the diff over there that looks fine so I guess we'll uh I'll hit this I'm gonna leave this gasket on here I'll hit it with a little bit of the uh brake cleaner on a rag just to kind of cut some of the oil and then I'll get some of the room temperature vulcanization cream and put that on there and put her back together and uh, Robert's your dad's brother. You're unhooked. Well, yeah, as you saw, we uh, got the creeper box fixed. Um, just that stupid little roll pin fell out. Um, I guess it's common for them to break. I don't know about falling out. This is the first creeper box I've ever had in one, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not not super impressed. But anyways, we fixed it. Um, that sapling that I tried to pull out, still in the ground. I'm going to have to use the backhoe on the Kubota, I guess. But uh, anyways, that was uh, part two, uh, creeper gear uh, repair on a uh, Cub Cadet 102. As always, guys, thanks for watching.